Oh, oh. All right, so we're gonna go check out a place and it's gonna be an adventure. Okay. And we're gonna go investor gating. Investor gating? It'll take us about 20 minutes. It's kind of, maybe a kind of sketchy the water? neighborhood. It is actually not far from the water, so. Cool. Are you game? Yeah. All right, what was that? I don't know. It was a sock puppet. That was a, uh, you can still see him, right? Is it a cat? Maybe a possum? Dang, I wish I could okay, get ready to kick it, all right? Oh, God. Oh, it's a cat. <laughs> <laughs> it scared the shit out of me. Hi, okay, cat. You okay? It's got a collar on, too. She might have kittens in here. Oh, yeah. All right, so sometimes investor gating is, is interesting, huh? <laughs> Comes with an RV. an RV. Clark. Ah. Uh, I think we should go in the front. It's kind of sketchy, but the realtor told me we could go in. Yeah. Oh, she said the back door was unlocked? Uh -huh. Hello? Anybody home? Just rats. Lots of rat droppings. Yeah. Ew, it smells bad. Yeah, this, this, you'd have to tear this down. Oh, yeah. Oh, what? Huh. So yeah, this is a, uh, man, there are a lot of rats in here. Little, uh, like a dorm room. It's a one room deal. And this is a, the bathroom is as big as the, almost as big as the bedroom living room. Okay. We could live here within a couple of weeks, huh? Yeah. <clears throat> Just get some air fresheners. Yeah. Oh. Right. Now this is the part that we need to put the code in to get into. <laughs> Roof needs a little work. <laughs> All right, okay, we've been advised not to go in with, but you'll wear, yeah, we'll cover our faces. <laughs> so, <laughs> first do that. Press enter, and then the code, and then enter. No key. Oh, cool. Now you back away. You back away. Wrong key, huh? The metal shelves and it stacked full of paper towels, bleach, water detergent, and then all the rats you shoot into all that. That's the guy that died. So you said the guy that lived here was a hoarder? Yeah. And he had a doomsday prepper? Yeah, that's what I call him. I don't, I don't know. I mean, just everything hoarded everything. I mean, yeah. yeah. And then he was all into that radio stuff and how he's had all these metal towers. All behind that log and bent over behind, but he was one of those big, whatever, I don't know, trucker radio crap. Yeah, thing. yeah. Stuff that was back in the just maybe popular in your day or a little bit before. Yeah. <laughs> I don't hey, know. how do you hey. get old? <laughs> 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 before my time, and like, and this another thing about this house too is when I was cleaning it out, it's got those old tiny screw in fuses. Yeah. Oh, wow. I saw that and I was like, what the hell is that? <laughs> Where do you get those anymore? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 10, ten four, good buddy. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> well, yeah, be careful because I don't want y'all to get sick. We appreciate yeah. that. You will. Thank you. Well, I think I've seen what I need to see. Yeah. Yeah. 
All right, so I don't know how much it would be to tear this thing down, but a lot. I don't think I want to be the guy doing it. Because no. then you go to build, and maybe they won't, maybe they, they won't okay the septic for a new structure. Who knows? A, this so this guy told us the woman, the realtor, bought it for thirty-five grand, and she just just put it up for sixty-five. And didn't even really hasn't done anything. Oh, there's a hammer. She hasn't done anything but put a lockbox on, on it and list it on the MLS. Well, we decided that that is an uphill battle. Yeah. And look, we're going uphill. <laughs> yeah, it's. And we're near. Hells in we're near the coast, which is not supposed to be like this. It's pretty cool. <laughs> so much for our investor gating. Yeah. Okay. So the guy that built it was an engineer. Spent a few years in Iraq. Lived in a. Uh, he lived in a cargo container for a while. So he, had some, he knew something about tiny. Houses, I guess. Um, but he did, he used a lot of aluminum for the framing. So I put this at the beach and it wouldn't rust. Insulated the heck out of it. Look at all that. Big galvanized trailer. Uh, beautiful lap board, three colors of paint or stain, and then a, a nice coat. Little cabin in the back for propane. And uh, look at the detail. Look at that skylight up there, just beautiful. Uh, so it's got a regular household door. And if you'd like, we can go inside. Look, he even put stainless steel gussets on the, and aluminum, heavy aluminum on the, uh, the nose of the trailer. Now, here we are. This is typical of tiny houses, these large riser stairs. Otherwise, you'd have stairs going all the way across your, across your building. And this way you have storage compartments that we can build in here. You know, lift these up and have storage. Just love it. I don't really need collar ties, I don't think. I, I may end up adding them. I think it might take away from it, though. Might detract from the look. Complicated. But we'll see. Um, but he's, you know, having this structure across here helps tie everything in together. So I'll have a kitchen maybe kitchenette somewhere in this area shower here toilet over here somewhere we'll raise the shower up so we can have proper drainage yeah coat, coat closet and upstairs is very solid surprisingly i've got to do some ceiling and trim work you can see daylight through there under the under the eave but uh, all this will be can be finished out pretty easily up here. Plumbing and wiring, and we'll have a house. All right, stay tuned.